Hey everybody, it's Garrett here again with FixMySauna.com and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how a ceramic heater is A, manufactured and B, how we can test these heaters to make sure that they're operating at 100% or properly. Uh, it's not burned out or anything else. So um, the first thing that we want to look at is the actual heater itself. So how are these ceramic heaters manufactured? Well, they've got a ceramic top or a pole on, on the top and the bottom. It's got screws here that screw in basically your wires. Usually they have washers. So this is your pole position. This is the top of your pole. Um, inside, you're going to have a coil wire. And that coil wire looks very similar to this. Um, some are a little uh, different, you know, some are coiled, you know, uh, smaller coiled, some are larger coiled. It, it kind of just depends on the manufacturer um, and, you know, the cost of the heater. This is a, a very low-end heater um, that you would find online, you know, typically as an aftermarket or a very cheap. And you can always tell because, you know, the solder work on these poles, you know, it's like they took a flathead um, pole and then they just kind of soldered in, you know, where you would, where, where you would would have put your screwdriver there so but we didn't want to ruin one of our good ones but this is exactly the way you know most of them look they're all going to be typically typically they're all going to be the same so they're all going to have this coil inside of them um, and then the two poles on the top and bottom so that's how they're made um, or manufactured um, now let's talk before we get into actually testing these let's talk about how they fail so uh, you know it's very rare but these coils can fail um, it can get too hot and it can separate. Um, usually that's really the only uh, thing that can happen uh, to these is it gets too hot and it separates. So um, that's the coil part. The second part I think is a little bit more important and I really uh, think a lot of people should emphasize looking at this, whether your sauna is new, old, 10 years old, 15 years old, you know, uh, three months, or you just bought it. So um, each sauna has these poles and like I said, they have these these washers uh, and these in these nuts, but again, these are not lock tight. Okay, these are it's not a lock tight type situation. So you have to understand that when heaters or when when heaters so heaters are almost always manufactured in China, ninety nine point nine percent, no matter what anybody says. Okay, so they're manufactured in China. So that's your first problem. Second problem is uh, once they're manufactured, they're put into a box. They're put in that box. That box is shipped to a port in China, uh, generally Shanghai, because that's where most of them ship out of. Then it's it's put on a container. Uh, the container is put on an ocean freight carrier. The ocean freight carrier travels all the way across the ocean. Then it gets to our port. It's unloaded from the from the ocean you know ocean container boat. Then it's put on a truck. Then it's generally sent on train or another truck to to the seller here in the United States warehouse. So as you can see here, and then it gets put on a truck to send to you. So as you can see, there's a lot of vibration. So, you know, I've seen brand new saunas that these are not tight, they're loose because all the vibration of all the shipping, you know, has caused it to, to vibrate loose. And if you have a loose, it's gonna cause resistance and it could blow out your control box, it could blow out your keypads, it could blow out a lot of things, it could start even a fire. So I always tell people to check to make sure that these are 100% tight and locked into place. Um, you know, uh, we actually do sell these washers here, but we sell Loctite washers. Uh, each heater that we sell comes with a Loctite, Loctite washers. Um, so you get that, that firm hold on your wires. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's show you how to test uh, your ceramic heater. So the first thing that you want to go out and have and buy is a multimeter. If you don't have analog works fine, doesn't matter. This one's a Home Depot commercial electric. Um, I've put a little sticker on here with a C, so I know that that's my continuity over there. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to get that, uh, set it to uh, your C or your continuity, um, or you know it usually has a little ohm thing there, um, and then you want to test it first. Okay, so you want to test and make sure it comes up zero. So right now this is this is great because I've had it sitting here. Um, it's coming up zero zero three. So that means I need to shut this thing off, let it sit for a second, turn it back on. Okay, there we go. And now I need to test it again. There we go, zeros all the way across the board. Oops. So as you can see, zeros all the way across the board. So the next thing that you wanna do is take, you know, it doesn't matter which one, uh, the red or the black, 
you put one on one pole of, this, uh, of the ceramic heater and the other on the other. So as you can see there, I'm testing this heater and it's got full continuity. So you know now that this heater is working or the coil inside is 100% intact. And you want to do this for each heater, not just the ones that are suspect because you, you never really know. Uh, a lot of these are, are wired in series. So you, you always want to check all of them. And I didn't take one out. I've just got one sitting here. But you always want to take it out of the sauna or out of the, the uh, aluminum shielding and unplug the wires. You don't, you don't want to plug it in or, or use a multimeter while it's plugged in. Okay, it's not going to work and because you have wires connected to it. So you want to check each heater individually. And then obviously you want to check each uh, pole here to make sure that it is 100% tight because that's the only other way that you can get a spark or, or resistance. So again, it's pretty simple guys. Uh, I hope this helps. Um, I, know, I know this seems pretty you know, elementary, but uh, this actually shows you the exact way to do it the way, the way that we do it here in the uh, warehouse. And uh, so you guys can kind of understand how this works. So again, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, um, you can email us at parts at fixmysauna.com. You can shoot us uh, uh, an email there. You can call us on our 800 number. It's 877-988-2111. Or you can go on our website, fixmysauna.com, and submit a support ticket. So, again, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, and if you guys have any questions, uh, give us a call. And as always, uh, I hope you guys have good health. Have a great day.